What's going on everybody, Sliding Dutchman here and today we're back at Emma at our second drift event. Um, I got the wheel in, I got a hydro in and we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, trying to connect more sections this time or maybe the whole track if possible. And a special guest is coming, a special guest, Spock is coming. Um, some people might know him, uh, Captain Spock who's one of my drift buddies from the PlayStation, we've met in real life a few times now. And basically this racetrack is just as far from my house as it is from his house. Um, and because we're close to the border in Germany. So um, he will be joining us in a bit. Uh, I don't know when he will arrive, but should not take long. And we're gonna have some fun. Do some slides, and I'm uh, curious uh, to see the progression throughout the day. Uh, so enjoy watching, um, and I will cut back in a little bit. Since I was, I don't know, 12 or something. This is your first time on track since you were 12. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't drifting, I presume. First time drifting as well, yeah. What was drifting? Huh? It was drifting. No, no, no. Oh, this is the first time. This drifting. is the first time yeah. drifting. The last time was in a um, 599 Ferrari. <laughs> oh, that's a bit different, but <laughs> it is. I'm gonna try and, and match that experience. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that guy was a professional race driver for Ferrari, anyway. So <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't drifting. No, ah, he was. One corner he was. Tires though. <laughs> Double check them. <laughs> Gonna practice a bit here with the handbrake. Yeah. Get used to it. Unfortunately, he is standing there with a lot of camber. <laughs> yeah. down a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's a bit uh, a bit sloppy. <laughs> Oh, 
big trip there. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that transition snap the other way. Oh no! <laughs> Did my welt just break? No! Fuck you and your handbrake. ready for the handbrake to slide yeah. it in there. Yeah. Drop back in seconds and then pop the clutch. Yeah. wanted a bit too much so we just did our first session Spock is here with me 
Um, and as you seen, we broken the handbrake because the 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 weld uh, broke. It was just a simple little weld, but I didn't want it to heat it up too much, and we kind of ran out of gas. Whatever. <laughs> it did ten. It was a then. shit weld. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it broke, and uh, we came here with uh, I think it's uh, Wouter Heimer, and he just uh, supplied us with a little brackets and cell tappers, and we just. We fixed it, so we can handbrake once more. So, let's go back on track. Day is saved. Muddy there. Going back to the beginning. <laughs> for a little break yeah shall we yeah okay round two um as you can see it was not going so well uh <laughs> we first uh session we broke the handbrake went off track fixed that went back on track so it's it's kind of second session but we would have gone longer uh but so happy the handbrake works again it really started ripping it and i think it was a bit over enthusiastic um just throwing it in too hard and spinning out also the car was getting a little bit hot so it was a good time to go off track once again as you can see it's just really can you move your leg please yeah. 
Okay. It's just a uh, really ghetto with a little strip and two self tappers just in the trans tunnel. I mean, fuck that shit. If it holds, it holds, and it does, so that's good. Ghetto fix is the best, anyway. So yeah, uh, it was going well at the beginning of the day, but later on, I was getting off track every time. So yeah, I need to cool it down a bit. Get back together because it was going a lot better than last time. I like, only I'm just trying to start off where I, where I where I left off, which is I need to warm up first. I'm getting familiar with the with the wheel, which is good. Um, also, e-braking it slows you a lot more uh, down a lot more than what it would do in the games. Because yeah. um, that's all I know. So that's kind of what I'm referring to with everything, or like compare it to. So bit hectic but um I asked Spock if he wanted to 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 there <laughs> I asked I asked Spock if he wanted to go for a lap because uh, this series is called from gamer to drifter and I like said in the, in the last time but like um, I think I'm able to to do all of this um, because I had so much practice in the game and it was going pretty well um, and I know Spock, his skill level in the game, I know his lines are kind of similar, that's why we tend them pretty good, if you're online a, lot, a bit more. <laughs> um, but because I said that if you can play a setter with a wheel, then you should be able to drift in real life. He's gonna take the wheel and just do... Um, well, I think they're doing the lap reverse now, which is a bit more... Uh, different layout on the back section as you can imagine um, So we're gonna wait to do the layout the other way and then uh, Spock is gonna take the wheel and see how he's doing just um, No crazy mungies or whatever he can do it if he wants and he feels comfortable But I would just suggest uh, start off with the clutch kick catch the car and just made it through the whole corner I mean not drifted a car like yeah, at have, all. have you ever drifted a car? Except I, did a, I did a 180 in my car, but that was on wet track and just floored it and catched it after 180. But not like I, I never uh, driven this car. I never drifted any car. So like that, purposely drift, hold the drift. No, and, and no, not nothing. at all. <laughs> just only experiences in games. Yeah. Okay. And just caught my car a few times when it kicked out on me, but that was yeah. <laughs> Well, Not on purpose, though. Yeah, but <laughs> I believe you can do it, and it will be funny to see. So I'll be in the passenger seat filming it. So um, let's just let the car cool down for a little bit. Uh, we're gonna chill, sit, eat, drink, and go back on track. And then as soon as they flip the driving uh, layout, like reverse or whatever, then um, we'll just see. So I decided because there was just a lot of footage, uh, I decided to do it like a two or three part video. Um, uh, so this first section is just me uh, slowly starting, then uh, after the handbrake is fixed we tried it again and I was getting a bit too enthusiastic and we spun a few times and we went off track. So in the second part we're gonna do um, uh, the layout in reverse, uh, Spock is gonna be taking the wheel, we have another guest driver who is taking the wheel, uh, I will link his channel, he's another small time YouTuber, uh, I'll link his channel in the description already of this video, just link him in all. The so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like, subscribe if you're new and you want to see more content because there's at least two more parts of this uh, drift day coming up. Uh, for me, I wanted to do it like, first off as one big video, but then it will get so long that I don't know if people will reach it to the end, where I think the good part is. So I'm just going to split it up in three videos. Um, so keep an eye out on the channel. And I thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Peace.